I just got a bunch of cereal from Magic Spoon. There's the box. They did a good job designing it. Are you familiar with Magic Spoon? Well, look at it. it. Says everything you need to know right here on this box. High protein, keto friendly, non-GMO, gluten free, grain free, soy free, wheat free, nothing artificial, childlike cereal for grown-ups. Oh. All right, so check it out here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six boxes to try. We got fruity maple waffle, which is a new flavor. Cookies and cream, which is a new fr flavor apparently. Cocoa, frosted. We got peanut butter. We also got some Mario figures and some robots. If you like those, I thought it'd be fun to throw them in there for you. All right, so check this out. Here's the peanut butter one. So the whole the whole thing is that it's it's very low carb, high protein, no sugar. There's some fat in there, nine grams. So the fat's coming from an oil blend. They have hyaluric, sunflower oil, avocado oil, peanut oil. That's interesting. Okay, well, there's that. These are seven ounces. These are tiny. These are like, so typical cereal bowl is 12 ounces, or a typical cereal box is 12 ounces. Fools like me that aren't good with my money, I, I had to try it out, and that's what I'm here to, here to give you guys. So, you know what? Like and subscribe, okay? And it, it'll help me out. That being said, these are about four, 40 bucks for four boxes. You can do the math, but it's not good, okay? I, this is a lot of money, and <laughs> I should have done it, but I did it anyway because I want to try them out. Five servings per container. So, you get five bowls. Hey Garfield, th did you want any? Y you want to try any out? Alright everybody, we've got a lot of cereals to try. I'm going to try every single one right now. And it's going to be wild. i got a nice glass see-through bowl. First up, let's try one of the new flavors here. Maple waffle. Oh, by the way, we got a, a maze on the back of each one. That's fun. <laughs> I can't wait. I love mazes. I used to love mazes. In the Sunday paper, I'd play the maze. That's right, I play the maze. Very fancy box, by the way. They have a shiny font on there. I don't know if I can pick that up right there. There we go. There we go. See that? Oh, high class graphic design skills here. Yeah. Fun colors, fun design. Let's open it up and see how big the, these bags are. Oh, right off the bat, that is smelling really good. I didn't even open the bag yet, and that's smelling pretty awesome. All right. All right, here's the bag. It's okay. It's not like terrible. I mean, it is, it is pretty small here. See, I always like to size things to my head. Ooh, wow. That smells pretty good. Ooh, I don't want to do too much. I just poured like a, almost a full bowl. What am I thinking here? By the way, they use uh, monk fruit extract as the sweetener, if any of you were curious about that. All right, let's do this. I got a tiny bit. I'm also going to do a little dry taste test here before I forget. Oh, maple waffle. Wow, okay. I was expecting to be a little harder in terms of the crunch. It's got a crunch, but then it like, it softens really quickly. It's kind of like, it's got a melting in your mouth effect. But it does start with a pretty nice crunch. Let's get some milk in here, try this out. There it is. Ta-da! I can see why this is getting good reviews. Let me get another bite. There was kind of a, interesting aftertaste it's not unpleasant but i notice it it's very subtle yeah it's good the flavors hold up it's got a nice crunch to it so maple waffle that's the first one thumbs up that's that's good i'm liking the flavors liking the crunch not too much crunch the flavors aren't overpowering it's just enough to get on my taste buds and let me enjoy that cereal it's not it's not over wearing its welcome, that's for sure. So that's one of the new flavors, let's go on to the next. All right, here's the cocoa. Got a nice, some different uh, coloring, nice graphics, different graphics, outer space, we've got a dog, it's outer space. Uh, we've got a, a, a crossword search on this bad boy. <laughs> that's fun. Here it is, oh wow. Whoa, Whew. that's gonna be in my nostrils for a while. <laughs> um, is anybody gonna see the Cruella de Vil movie? Those are uh, very generously covered in uh, cocoa. It's like a dark chocolate vibe. 
this one's okay. I'm not really digging this this one because it's almost like taking cocoa powder directly if you've ever tried it by itself. There's no flavor, it's just kind of like a kind of like it has a, a raw taste to it. Still pretty good, but it definitely won't be my favorite. If they were trying to make it taste like cocoa pebbles, it doesn't taste like cocoa pebbles at all. And it does make the milk a little chocolatey, if you can see that. It's there. Oh! Next up, it's peanut butter. With some nice fun graphics, this muscle dude. <laughs> Man, I had a dream about a muscle dude, and he tried to kill me. And this is an elephant. So we got another crossword. Find all the words. Can I find one of them? Yep, one of them right here, peanut. <laughs> Zoom in on that, I found it. You see how quick I found that? <laughs> At least 2.5 seconds. <laughs> uh, everything's the same, cool design, open it up. Here we go. Right. Peanut butter, peanut butter, peanut butter, peanut, peanut butter jelly in a baseball bag. <laughs> Old school. Oh, that is pungent. Dry taste test. Mmm. 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 Okay. I didn't get much uh, peanut butter. <laughs> Almonds, yeah. Check it out. The smell is a little weird. I'm not really getting a strong peanut butter scent. It's a little off-putting. Let's go for it. Whoa. That's weird. I feel like I'm getting peanut oil. It says they put peanut oil, peanut flour, which I think they used in the maple one as well. I'm not really liking this one. I think they need to switch to a, a different technique. Is this, this is kind of weird. Yeah, this one... It is not doing it for me. So far, they've also all had the same crunch. They're missing out. Something's missing on this peanut butter flavor. It's not hitting the right notes. I'm barely getting any peanut butter, really. That might be my least favorite so far. All right, next up, we got Fruity. I'm thinking this is one of the more popular brands. We got this lady up here. She's riding Toucan Samuel, and she's got a spoon. She's eating some of it. Fruity, we got another crossword. What's up? Cereal, I found it before you. I found it before you. <laughs> you suck. Whoa, look at those colors. That's pretty. Ooh, this one's definitely smelling like Fruit Loops right off the bat, and I don't even need to open the bag. Oh, that's bringing oh, back some memory. Look at that yellow. That is some serious, like, yellow stuff going on. All right, let's get a good group in here. Mmm, okay. I see what you're doing, that's pretty good. Get some nice flavors going on there. I'm feeling it. So fruity all day, I'm telling you right now. That one's pretty good. I'm not gonna come out and say this tastes exactly like fruit loops. That is pretty darn close. That's good. I like that one. I can't get over that yellow. That yellow just looks amazing. Gotta love that yellow. This might be my number one contender so far. Oh man. Am I gonna get sick? Next up, cookie crisp. No, I'm just getting cookies and cream. Here we got a zebra with these funky eyes, some fun design. This lady's got a spoon. They're all riding like some sort of animal, which is interesting. Oh wow, another search. I only got one maze so far. What's going on? Word search, what can I find? Oh, breakfast, found it. <laughs> Same exact spot. Cookies and cream, this is one of the newer flavors as well. Ugh, that's not really smelling that great. It's like a, has the cocoa. The flavors aren't really popping to me. Cookies and cream, I'm, I'm not really getting that. That's not good. Everything else is okay, but I'm really not getting cookies and cream. It's gotta, it's not popping. It doesn't get, it's not popping for me. We got one more frosted, basic frosted flavoring. Uh, I got a lot of, what is that thing? Oh, we got something different. Finish the story. Oh, it kind of smells like marshmallowy. That makes me excited. Do a dry taste. That almost does kind of have like a marshmallowy taste to it. Mm hmm. Mm. The first, as it started, I was like, eh. But then it kind of got better. It does have a marshmallowy taste, in my opinion. Frosted. I don't know. It's pretty good. Should I rank them? Fruity. That's number one. Maple waffle. Definitely two. So we got fruity is definitely the best. Maple waffle comes in second. The frosted one, which I definitely didn't expect, the frosted one is probably third. Those are my top three. Peanut butter is definitely the worst. That being said, where did I get this again? For the price, very unlikely. I really just wanted to try it out and give you guys an honest opinion about it. Because 
for the price, it's a lot. And I'm not gonna crave cereal that much that I'm gonna subscribe and, and get these every month. It was fun. It was fun while it lasted, right? That's what it's all about. Trying something else out. I'm sure there's someone out there that loves it and is gonna subscribe and get them every, every chance they can get. But if you're gonna try it, definitely get the fruity. That's pretty good. <laughs> all right, there's only one more thing to do. Oh yeah, the mega combo. M -m 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 mega combo. Let's try and get everything in one bite, shall we? Sick bites. Mm. Wow. Oh, okay. That was seriously unpleasant. The bad ones, <laughs> the ones I didn't like, stood out the most. Yeah, please be with you.